Find a kiss. George? Hello, parrot lovers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this is Cody, my African Grey, and we want to welcome you to Parent Tip Tuesday. I'm really excited about today's video because it's an important one. Today, we're talking about heavy metal poisoning in your parrot and how to prevent it. It's kind of funny because I've been working on a plucking video for you guys and doing extensive research, as I always am, because you know my bird jersey plucks. And I got knee deep into research about heavy metal poisoning, so I thought this has got to be a video in itself. Right, baby? Now, why I'm really passionate about this subject is because although heavy metal poisoning is life-threatening to your parrot, it's often treatable. And once treated properly, if your bird recovers, there can be little to no side effects. So as you guys know, I make these videos because I'm passionate about educating you guys on how to save your birds and give them a better life. So if there's a subject we can talk about and be prepared for and save your bird, then I'm all for it. So let's get started. Now it's very important to be aware of which metals are toxic to your parrots and what products contain them. Lead, zinc, and copper are all toxic to parrots and can be found in so many household items and even items that your bird loves to play with. Now before we get into that, let's start with the symptoms your parrot may have if he is in fact intoxicated with heavy metals. A bird with heavy metal poisoning may have seizures, depression, loss of appetite, tremors, diarrhea, vomiting, blood in the droppings, a red urine or a very dark urine, cyanosis, which is a purplish or bluish skin discoloration, polyuria, that's large volumes of urination, polydipsia, which is extreme thirst, shallow respiration, and of course, feather picking. Now out of all those symptoms, the most obvious ones that you might notice first would be vomiting, excessive urination, a lethargic bird, or a bird that has trouble walking and standing on his perch. Well, how do you discover these symptoms? I'm probably gonna start saying this in a lot of videos if you haven't heard me say this already. The easiest way to notice if your bird has an illness is to observe him constantly before he has an illness. So take a look at your bird, get to know your bird, observe him more than you would just by paying attention to him. For example, it's really good to weigh your bird once a week. It's good to notice the color of your bird's plumage so if any of his feathers have changed, you're ready to recognize it. It's a good idea to realize how often does he talk in a day? Because if your parrot stops talking, it can often be a sign of illness. Is he depressed? Is he moody? Is he not willing to come out of the cage like he usually does? Is he moving much more slowly than he usually does? What about the color of his skin? Have you observed his skin tone? And very importantly, are you familiar with the color of his droppings? All of these notations are important to the health of your parrot because discovering these issues early will be an asset to saving the life of your bird. What will metal poisoning do to your bird? Metal poisoning is categorized as either acute or chronic. Acute metal poisoning is when your bird swallows metal in one or two doses, meaning that your parrot has actually swallowed one or two small pieces of metal. Chronic metal poisoning refers to your parrot ingesting very small doses over a long period of time. And eventually that buildup of metal toxins can damage your bird's liver, kidneys, pancreas, and muscles. Now, as I mentioned, the three most common types of metals are lead, zinc, and copper. You may be very surprised to discover which products actually contain these toxic metals and how easy it is for your bird to get a hold of them. 
I want to talk about zinc first, specifically because when your bird has zinc poisoning, so often it's related to your bird's cage. And your bird's cage is actually his home. So it's very important that we always have a really safe home environment for our parrots. Zinc is most often found in galvanized wire cages or galvanized water bowls. You can often tell when a metal has been galvanized because it's really silver with those white markings. It's much easier to spot in, let's say, a water bowl or a large piece of metal than it is to spot in a wire cage. So it's always important to make sure that you know your cage is zinc proof. However, so many smaller items that our birds get hold of all the time also contain zinc. Washers, nuts, wire, pennies, clips, zippers, keys, snaps, chains, costume jewelry, and also padlocks. A lot of people put a huge padlock on their bird's cage, and if your bird is busy trying to undo it or is one of those masterminds that's really great at undoing padlocks, they may be poisoning themselves consistently. So be very careful with the padlocks that you put on your parrot's cages. I know all of these small items are really tempting to let your parrot play with, but that's why it's really important to be educated on metals and how effective they are to your birds because our parrots get themselves into so many little different things. This is also very important to note because if your bird breaks off a toy or a little piece or nut or bolt that contains zinc and he should happen to drop it into his water, the zinc is going to bleed out into his water. So if you find that he's broken pieces, it might be a good idea to remove those from his cage once they become detached. Let's talk about lead. Lead is another extremely toxic metal to your parrot. And it's a very important one because so many little things containing lead are parrot temptations. It's almost like your house becomes a hazard when you become aware of what carries lead. But that's why it's important to be educated on it because then you'll be so much more familiar and much quicker about not letting these things get in the way of your parrot. Now, first of all, we know that lead can be found in tap water. So as I made a video before, it's very important to give your parrot the best possible water that you can. It's also found in twist ties, plastic wire covering, Venetian blinds, which is a really popular one for lead poisoning in parrots. You know they're always getting at the curtains and blinds. Batteries, toothbrushes, the dyes on cardboard boxes or in newspapers, especially when this ink gets wet, then it can become really toxic to your parrots. That's why I usually avoid putting newspapers at the bottom of my parrot's cage. Crystal, paint chips, tile, linoleum, curtain weights, artist paints, foil, costume jewelry, antique jewelry, and you know those little Mardi Gras beads, all colors that you get at Mardi Gras or at clubs or wherever, those things carry so much lead in them. And although they're so tempting for your parrots, those are not good for your birds. And of course we know a lot of birds love, love, love chewing wire, but wire is not good for your parrots because a lot of the plastic covering in wires contains lead. Which brings us to copper. Parrots love wires, but inside the wires, there's often copper, and that can lead to extreme metal toxicity in your parrots. So how do they test for lead poisoning? If your parrot swallowed an item containing lead, it's gonna be possible to notice it on the x-ray when your parrot goes in for his exam. However, if your parrot has been ingesting lead over a long period of time, it's very possible that you're not gonna find a single item. And instead, they're going to do a blood test on your bird and discover the lead levels in his blood. How is lead poisoning treated? If your bird has been diagnosed with lead poisoning, there are many different therapies that may be administered. Your bird will most likely receive chelation therapy, which means that a synthetic solution will be injected into the bloodstream of your parrot, and it will help remove all of the toxins and minerals in your bird's blood. 
Other treatments may be iron injections, vitamin B injections, heat support, and medications. Now here's something really interesting. Sometimes they use peanut butter to help speed up the exit of the lead from the bird's gut because it coats the lead and helps it move through the digestive system. And of course, if there is a large piece of lead found in your bird through an x-ray, they'll quite often have to do an incision in your bird's crop to remove the item. So what is the prognosis? Well, while metal toxicity is very dangerous to your parrot, like we mentioned before, if treated early, it can be reversed with little or absolutely no side effects. So how do we prevent metal toxicity? To prevent metal toxicity in your parrot or from it happening again, remove all toxic materials from your parrot's cage or environment and get them a new cage if need be. Remember, the safest cages for your parrots are wrought iron or steel cages that are powder coated. Extremely old cages or cages made in China may contain a lot of lead in the paint. Now, of course, if your parrot has lead poisoning or has had lead poisoning, it's extremely important to discover exactly what caused it so that you are sure you've removed the toxin from your parrot's environment and you're well prepared for it never to happen again. And if you are unsure about your parrot's cage or if this video has somehow made you unsure or nervous, don't worry, you can always send a sample for testing to a lab and find out if your cage does in fact contain lead. On that note, home lab testing kits are really not recommended. Most people don't trust them. If you want to be the safest possible, I would send it to a professional lab. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already joined Parrot Station, that is my Facebook page for all you parrot lovers to come, introduce yourselves, and share pictures of your birds. I'm loving it and I'm very, very proud of you guys and how much you care about each other's birds. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, at Marlene McCohen. You'll see my birdies all day long on my Instagram story. And if you're just interested in snooping, come on and say hi. And of course, please subscribe. I love new subscribers and so do the birdies. It means so much to me. It means that there's that many of you that care so much about your parrots and that hopefully we are making a difference and educating you guys on your birds. If I can change the life of one bird, that's what I'm here for and that's what I'm trying to do. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Bye.